coming exclusively to theaters for Christmas from Walt Disney Pictures. Picture the city, the crowds hustling, the traffic roaring, the hot dogs are sizzling. I love a story with food in it. It's all new. Disney's 27th full-length animated feature, Oliver, a pussycat, and company. Hey, it's an alien! Cool it, guys. It's just a cat. Yeah! Why should I worry? I'll get you! the story of Oliver, a little furball, a New York City orphan who joins the Dodger, Fagan, and some of the most hilarious characters ever hey man, check it out. for a magical musical adventure featuring five brand new songs. Walt Disney Pictures presents Oliver and Company. This is torture. Chain me to the wall. And now, our feature presentation. I was sitting with my friend Arthur Kornblum in a restaurant. It was a horn and tarred cafeteria. And this beautiful girl walked in, and I turned to Arthur, and I said, Arthur, you see that girl? I'm going to marry her. And two weeks later, we were married. And it's over 50 years later, and we are still married. Well, he was the head counselor at the boys' camp, and I was the head counselor at the girls' camp. And they had a social one night, and he walked across the room. I thought he was coming to talk to my friend Maxine, because people were always crossing rooms to talk to Maxine. But he was coming to talk to me, and he said, I'm Ben Small of the Coney Island Smalls. At that moment, I knew. I knew the way you know about a good melon. A man came to me and said, I found a nice girl for you. She lives in the next village, and she is ready for marriage. We were not supposed to meet until the wedding, but I wanted to make sure. So I sneaked into her village, hid behind a tree, watch her washing the clothes. I think if I don't like the way she looks, I don't marry her. But she looked really nice to me. So I said, okay, to the man. We get married. We married for 55 years. 